you don't want to be known for your curves at age 50 like i unless you did unless you did that would i guess be fine go ahead put on your foxy grandpa hat am i right hello everybody how you doing willow davis how's it going uh in case you missed the last couple of videos uh i'm in a new new place new apartment here we go look at me anyway getting back to business on the YouTube and Twitch and everything. Anyway, this the video today, this reaction, highly, highly requested content, especially after that one reaction I did of that couple who had all the ways God tells you that the person you're with is the one or something. Uh, everyone was like, you gotta check out Classically Abby. There we go. Yes, Classically Abby. Um, something, something, conservative wife uh people are saying she's ben shapiro's sister i don't know if that was like like t to be funny or if that i do see the resemblance you know what? i'm thinking i'm thinking that is actually the truth um <laughs> like okay i guess okay i guess she is um okay yeah, so it's all like conservative woman modest wife oh uh this okay this the the most popular video here why you should dress modestly this has been this horse has been beaten to death uh, with reactions. I'm pretty sure if you type in like classically Abby, there's just a bunch of people reacting to like this video. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, I, th I think I've been overthinking my videos a little bit too much lately, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna just do this. This we're just gonna dive right into whatever they got, what they're offering us here. Anyway, yes. Uh, so people are saying you gotta. You gotta check this out, you gotta react to it. And I was hesitant at first, like, I don't know if I should be watching this and having comments about the way women dress or something. Me, I'm the last person who needs to give their opinion on that or anything. But then again, overthinking, I'm just, we're just gonna watch it. We're just gonna watch it. Uh, I, I don't care anymore. Okay, it's a short video. Maybe we'll browse around at a few of them. Guys, we get started here. Smash like on this video. Uh, subscribe if you're new. And hey, if you're not new, Make sure you subscribe because you might you might think you are and and YouTube's just like nah actually you're not so go go make sure of that anyway here we go why you should dress modestly get the attention you deserve hello beautiful ladies and welcome to today's hello. video where we're going to be talking about modesty why it's important and why it doesn't mean looking like garbage modesty it look at you. Look at you looking like garbage there. I see you. It's a concept that- Not, not, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that's how she's addressing you. Some women truly hate. It's also a concept that a lot of women embrace. First off, what is it? Modesty is dressing in a way that doesn't sexualize your body. I get the appeal of not wanting to dress modestly all the time. Even for those of us who do dress modestly, sometimes it's hard. It's fun to dress in a way that makes you desirable. It's fun to be noticed. But the question is, who do you want to be desirable to? And do you want to be noticed for being beautiful or being sexy? Modesty is about treating your body with respect. It's about recognizing reality. That men are visual creatures, not emotional ones. It's What'd you say about me? What'd you call me? I'm not an emotional creature. I have emotion. Trust, it's there. I'm... Uh I am not some beast that only views. It's about leaving things to the imagination. It's about dressing beautifully and attractively, but not garishly. It's about embracing femininity. And it's about dressing in public in a way that's appropriate for everyone, from children to grandparents to moms and dads. Modesty is a way for you to respect yourself and respect others. When you go to the park and you're surrounded by families with children, is it fair to dress in a way that's distracting? No. What is that? At the park? Distracting to who at the park? No. Instead, dress in a way that's appropriate for the occasion. When you meet a guy and immediately have a connection, you have one chance to make an impression. Do you want him to leave having your body at the forefront of his mind? Or you, as a person? If you are wearing- uh, I, I like how, how basically, I feel like this whole conversation is her just like identifying- identifying men as just like these beasts as she speaks to them in the third person <laughs> like, like like we don't communicate 
doing something incredibly revealing, it will be difficult for him to focus on your personality. Instead, he might be focusing on your physical appeal. Of course there are- I, that, That's definitely down to the individual. Uh, I don't, you know, it's, I don't know, maybe you're hanging with just the wrong people or something. There are men who will look at you this way no matter what. But more men will think of you as a sex object if you dress like one than if you dress like a lady. Does that mean you should look like garbage when you meet someone? Absolutely not. You should look attractive. But if you're dressing immodestly, you're not leaving anything to his imagination. And you're not giving him an opportunity to get to know you. I'm guessing you don't want- Where, where what do you, there, the opportunity is there. It's up to the individual to, to, to uh, I don't know. Not to attract the kind of man who is only looking to spend one night with you. But when you dress immodestly- What, what if, what if that's what you're looking for? Sometimes that's just what they want, you know? I'm, sometimes- Men are wired to have one thing on the brain. When you go to a work meeting, do you want to have cleavage and legs showing? No. You want the people there to listen to you and engage with your ideas, not your sexuality. Dressing modestly is such a feminine thing to do because it accentuates your figure. She's like, <laughs> she's like men and their stupid, stupid, dumb, dumb brains. They can only focus on one thing. Instead of revealing it. And here's the thing. You can dress modestly and beautifully. There are so many examples of this. Look at Kate Middleton, Michelle Obama, and Ivanka Trump. Nobody looks at them and thinks, wow, they're frumpy. But in today's day and age- Frumpy, ooh, we're, we're throwing the word frumpy in there. Where everything goes- That's a classic. It's hard to know what's modest and what- I feel like I got like a frump kind of vibe going on right now. My, my sweat's on. It's not. Women like JLo and Shakira dancing in sparkly leotards and being praised for their bodies doesn't really help either. Because at 50 years old, do you want to be trying to be praised for your body or praised for your family? For your body or for your wisdom? Treat what? Uh, why not both? I don't know. It's just whatever. <laughs> Treating your sexiness like it's your best feature is a losing battle because time always wins. And now you're competing with other women too. So what's the difference between be <laughs> you, you old frumpy ass up there in your leotard? <laughs> beauty and sexiness. Beauty is both inside and out. It's about how your soul shines through your eyes and through your smile. It's about how your external features complement your personality. Sexiness is just about your body. Modesty reminds us what's important. Of course, it's amazing to keep in shape. It's amazing to work out and stay fit. But I hope that when I'm 50, people are talking about my accomplishments as a mother, as a wife, and as a woman with values, not my muscle tone. So what does modesty really mean? It means okay. not wearing something that shows off every curve and crevice of your body when it might be better off left in the bedroom. It means not wearing <laughs> something that could easily be mistaken for lingerie. It means not wearing something you'd be embarrassed. I don't get why. I don't get why. It's so like, who cares? It's just like you just do whatever, you know. Do do just you just do you. Is to see your family in. I get the pull toward wanting to dress immodestly, and I'm not criticizing anyone for it. I'm just offering you an alternative. So, ladies, let's be classic and let's dress like the ladies we are. I'm hoping to do some more videos on how to dress modestly and fast. Okay. Let me know if you like, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all that, I'm sure is the- There, please head over to class- I don't know, I mean, like, I get the intent is just like, it's it, it's about the intent, like, whatever, and she's saying like, but that, yeah, but then it's like, like, I don't wanna, you don't wanna be known for your curves at age 50, like, I unless you did, unless you did, that would, I guess, be fine. If that's what you want, doesn't really matter to me at all. Go ahead, put on your foxy grandpa hat, am I right? Why I came out as conservative is quite a choice of words. Well, 10 things you should know before becoming a wife, okay. Hello, beautiful ladies, and Hello. welcome to today's video, where we're going to be talking about 10 things you should know before becoming a wife. There were a few things that I wish that someone had told me before I got married, and I thought I would share with you guys some of those thoughts. So let's get started. Number one, men are beasts, 
and their their poo poo brains only think of one thing. Every woman should know before getting married is that your cleanliness level is going to be different than your husband's. <laughs> now, for me and Jacob, the True. thing for us is that I love when everything is in its place. I like when things are organized, when everything is put away. He doesn't like dust. So classically, Abby's like this beast of a man that has entered my home, leaving his slop about. <laughs> I don't like clutter and he doesn't like dirt. So for me, that evens out pretty well. But what it does mean is that he doesn't really mind clutter. So if he comes home and he puts down something on a on a chair, it might just stay there for a while. <laughs> and that took me a little bit of time to get used to because I would say, oh, why can't you just understand what bothers me? Get him a, a nice shock collar. <laughs> bzz, get a bzz. At the same time, I don't really understand what bothers him. So be forgiving of each other and just recognize that you're going to want things to be clean in a different way than he is. And that's not a bad thing. You'll just even out and you guys will kind of take. Wow. What advice classically Abby to be an understanding person of others. Wow. Now, another funny thing, for example, is that my husband, and I've heard this is common, always puts his clothes next to the hamper, not in it next to it. <laughs> what a savage beast of a man. I always laugh about that. He did explain the reason to me, which is that we have two hampers and he never knows which one is white and which one is colors. So and sometimes I So he just gives up. This, I'm I'm sensing some 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 very high levels of passive aggression here. Mix them up because I like to just sort them when I get down to the laundry room. But it's still like just put it in the hamper. It'll be fine. <laughs> so there are all these kinds of things that you've just put it in the hamper, dude, and everything will be fine. Just find out when you get married and they work themselves out. The third thing is that take the time before you're married to learn how to cook. If you don't know how to cook now, then maybe take some time and watch some YouTube oh videos boy. or ask your mom and get some recipes under your belt. Now, not all wives cook. I can totally respect that. Okay. I just love cooking for my husband. I think it's a really nice thing to do. And I found that there are certain recipes that I'm really glad. I all right, this is. I, I thought this was going to get a lot worse than it is. I, I thought it was going to be like the role of you is. But no, she's, she's saying. She's saying, like, I guess in general. Also really fun to kind of explore new recipes after you're married because you figure out what your husband likes. But just having a few things that you just know you can cook up in a few minutes is the best thing because you don't have to worry as much about trying to figure out something on the fly. Mr. Classically Abby be like, bake wife. So if your husband says he just wants a few minutes to read or play a video game or whatever it is, just be respectful of that because it's so easy to feel offended when someone says that they don't want to be around you for a minute. But when you're married, you're around each other all the time. And so it's just so give him some time to play his video game. It's really number nine is you should let your home be welcoming to your husband's friend. Now, your husband is probably going to want his friends to come over sometimes and you don't want it to feel like he's not allowed to because then he'll feel like he has to leave his home to have his male friendships. When the boys come over for bean night, am I right? Am I right, boys? And I think it's a really nice thing for a man to be able to bring home his friends, for you to be a part of that. My husband is so wonderful about this. When he has his friends over, he actually- For Mario Party and Beans at the classically Abbey house, am I right? Me and the boys. He invites me to be included in board game nights or video games or whatever it is so that I can participate. But there are times where I don't want to participate and that's- They give her the controller that's not plugged in. Totally fine. And I don't mind going in the other room and reading a book and he can hang out with his guy friends. But I want him to feel like our home is really our home. Number 10 and my last piece of advice is that it's totally normal to argue. Just make sure that your arguments are for a purpose. Don't argue with each other and start getting on each other's case and criticizing each other about who you are and just yelling for no reason. Okay, good advice. Don't argue for no reason. Uh, honey, why, how, how do I open PDF? Honest, how do I open the PDF? Can't deal with this place. Don't just fight to fight and never say something that you can't take back. Honey, I've had enough. It's me or the Shrek DVDs. That's it. <laughs>
So always be very mindful in an argument not to say something in the heat of the moment that your partner can't unhear. Shrek came out in 2001 and ogres have a life expectancy of 20 years. It's really hard when you are upset to keep that in mind, but it's very important. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Okay, I guess, I guess that was about as bad as I expected. I don't know. I mean, like, it, was, it wasn't horrible. It's was just, just judgy, just very judgy, I guess. Oh, this is the guy here. Here he is. He looks like he's like, y'all got any milk? I don't. I, that's just what came to mind. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's all I'm getting. He's like, it's like could really. He's like, could really use some milk. <laughs> oh, snap! He got some. Oh my god, you love to see it. You love to see. It. Oh man, wow! That was the whole. That was all. That was a whole like storyline arc thing there. Whew. <laughs> I feel satisfied, do you? Okay, well, thanks so much for hanging with me, everybody. Uh, go ahead and hit the bell for notifications of when I upload. Also, head on over to twitch.tv slash willowdavis where I go live very frequently to play some games, chat with the uh, community here. We have a great time. Anyway, what other kind of reactions would you like to see? Let me know down in the comments. And other than that, I'll see you next time. Willow Davis, out.